Only I'm Carl Ravich. I'll be honest with you, after watching Judge that round, there's a bit of a Tiger Woods dominant during the 2000 golf season when it was, when he showed up, it was who's finishing second. I'd love Sano to put on a great show and make it competitive, but boy, Judge, you needed 23, easy. You need 12, easy. Well, the scary thing is, is his second round, his balls were going further. We, we, we've yeah. been talking about guys getting tired. He definitely didn't get tired. I right. mean, he hit 513 feet in his second round. We were wondering if, if a guy could go 500 feet in this thing. I think he went three or four times 500 feet. He, did. he, he told us he would, too. Before he even went, we asked him when he sat down, could you go 500? And he's like, oh, yeah. I, I hope it doesn't act as a deterrent that uh, you see somebody like this who's that big and that strong, and others are be like, well, I don't know. Next year for the Derby, we're just going to have Aaron Judge try to beat himself. We're gonna, <laughs> he's going to have brackets where he's going to play himself the entire the entire time. There we go. Let's get Miguel Sano started. A big shot to left with some lightning in the background. I think Judge had one of those, which felt like the natural. I mean, lightning he brought, literally. He brought lightning up. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit like Tiger Woods, I mean, how how does Sano go up there and say, you know what, I'm going to beat this guy? I, I mean, got to hit you 30. Have, <laughs> exactly. You have to be in such a groove to be able to beat him right now. It's tough to do. I mean, in order for it to feel competitive, you've got to post 22, which he blew out. We're at one right now. Well, and remember, Sano's biggest thing is pace. Like, he's got the slowest pace here, takes his time, likes to be very slow it down. But when you know you're going to have the beast ahead of you, right. it's hard to really slow it hey, down. Hey, look, he's had a long break. He wants another 30 to think about it. Ricky Fowler is a professional golfer. When it comes to hitting perfect drives, nobody does it better. He's also into oil painting. Looking good. But when it comes to mortgages, he's less confident. Fortunately for Ricky, there's Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. It's simple, so he can understand the details and be sure he's getting the right mortgage. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. We're back, Miguel Sano. Come on, guy, let's go. Let's get some balls over the wall here. Need some pitches to hit as well. Sano started this thing off. He was the first guy to swing, and he advanced early over Mike Moustakis, put on quite a show in that first round. Now he's starting to get some jump in it. That's two in a row, and you know, you get into a zone, you never know how many you can hit. He's still got plenty of time left. That's three in a row right there. No plays for the Minnesota Twins, and of course the Twins and their Hall of Fame coach Paul Molitor, the manager, have been outstanding all season. And again, it's one of those teams. They don't play on the coast, obviously. They play in a division that has the Indians now playing so well you can get lost. But this is a real good coming out party for Miguel Sano. And this and this team's going to get better. I mean, the Twins are built for the long haul. You know, they may not win it all this year, but in a couple of years we're going to talk about them being a perennial contender. His 21 home runs, he's knocked in 62 in 82 games. As far as Twins franchise history goes, only three players hit that many and drove in that many in their first 82 games. Think about Killebrew, Justin Morneau, and then Josh Willingham. You do get two timeouts here in the finals, and we want to remind everyone, make sure to call the 2017 catch it all the action from the all-star game the legends and celebrity softball game follows us at 10 the red carpet show tomorrow to watch the guys being paraded through the streets of Miami on the MLB network in the 88th MLB all-star game at 730 on Fox. He's had 10 takes this round which is a combination yes of pitches he doesn't want to hit but also he's tired and you can tell. He is, you know, and, and you have to you have to look at Tatis. He's done a great job all night. He's trying to figure out, okay, where do you want it? We go, where do you want this ball? I'm trying to throw it in your sweet spot. 
If Judge gets to five or six or whatever's required to win, can we just continue and see how far and how many he can hit? Yes, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, take a vote. This, this stadium is ready. You know, back in the old days, guys like Babe Ruth and, and Lou Gehrig used to barnstorm after the season. Yeah. You might think about doing that with Aaron Judge, where you just let him go around the world and take batting practice. Just hit. I mean, he'll, he'll fill out the Tokyo Dome taking batting practice. The, the issue with that is if you ask Aaron Judge to do it, he'd probably say yes. Like, sure. You need, is that what you want me to do? He's such a nice guy. I mean, he's one of the most humble kids you'll ever meet. He's not a kid anymore. He's 25 years old. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's laser focused. It's fun to watch him hit. There you go. Miguel Sano got on top of that one. And that one may go over the structure out there. No, right in front of it. Oh, he hit him. Got that pitch. one. That was like three inches off the ground. Yeah, a little three iron. Judge is clapping. Like, yeah, get it up there. Let's go. I want to take some rips. Yeah. Hit one 440. Get over it. 440. Get up. Go 440. Go. There you go. There you go. All right. Hey, you never know. I mean, listen, you never know. I think you just said we want five more. Let's get five. We've got 30 seconds. Let's get one. Nice line drive to right. Let's get one. He, he wants that on Friday, but not today. <laughs> You certainly get the impression that the year of Aaron Judge is going to continue as he comes in and he will need to hit 11 home runs to win it all. And you know what, Sano, he may not win this thing, but what a great performance. I mean, he, he went out and hit some really good balls. We had a lot of fun watching him tonight. Well, to come in and lead this thing off. I mean, you got to remember, he was the very first hitter of the Derby. A ton of pressure, a lot of adrenaline. And for him to be able, he was my pick from the beginning because of that exit velocity. I love the way he swings. Aaron Judge needs 11 to win the 2017 Home Run Derby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just making it look so easy right now. He needed now. 19 swings out. in the first round, 18 guys in the second oh round to reach I that. I mean, how many seconds is it going to take? It well, before he hits, you know, 11 and wins this thing, we got to talk about how cool his bat is. You know, give Chandler Bat Company a props right now. Look how he's got the custom bat for the Derby. For a long time, when Aaron Judge went to New York, he lived in a hotel because he was always afraid that he might get sent back down. And on his cell phone, he has a note that says 179, which was the batting average that he had a couple years ago. So he reminds himself, this can happen at any time, and he does not take it off that phone. I've always said about big leaguers, it's, it's filled with guys that are either have already been humbled or about to get humbled. Last year, humbled Aaron Judge, and he came out this season a man on a mission, and he is proving everybody how talented he is, and he's one of the best ball players around. Look out. And he changed stuff about his swing, and Tex, you know, that's not easy to do at this level. And for him to minimize so much of that movement, which allows the power that he shows so he can have a 70% swing, take out the leg kick, take out, because you don't need it. You're six foot seven, you got the power right there, and that was a huge adjustment. Here's okay, another one to season. pull within one, and he needs two to win the championship. I think you're going to see a lot of young players emulating that swing. Obviously, he do, they don't have the 280 pounds of muscle like Aaron Judge, but it is a short, quick swing. He creates that bad angle. One he gets more. on its back leg. It's impressive. One more. Do we get a Here it is. No, we're going to bring it. For the win. He had to hit 23 in the first round to win it. Nope. He needs 11 in this one. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, drop the bat. Aaron Judge, your 2017 home run Derby the deal. champion. <laughs> and he made it look easy. Look at Danilo. Oh, man. He is so happy for his teammate Danilo Valiente right now. Look at, look at, look at this. How great is that? Just shows how tight this young group of Yankees are. I got to see all of them last year firsthand. These are a bunch of young, talented kids that love playing the game. What a special night for all of them. Aaron Judge really, really may have redefined <laughs> the home run derby and what you're going to have to bring to the yard.
if you want to compete with that guy. I've never seen anyone hit the ball the, the way he did tonight.